I've had questions on replacing the CAD cell relay on these oil burners. And uh, this is just going to be the three wire control. It's the simplest one. But uh, sometimes there's confusion about how these things work. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain how this works and where all the parts are. Okay, all the parts that we're wiring in this are 120 volt input. That is the CAD cell relay gets 120 volts, the transformer here gets 120 volts, and the motor here gets 120 volts. Okay, the first thing I wanted to do is let you know which control we're using. I'll show you this with a uh, uh, White Rogers control in a minute, but this one here is a Honeywell 8184G4009 and it's almost as simple as the only difference between this and some of the older ones is it has this little doohickey to uh, lock the system out if you need to. So that's the control we're using. Now let's look inside. Okay, out of the control you see three wires. Here's your white wire coming from power. Okay, it goes into this wire nut right here. Now you'll notice most of the wires going into it are white. We got one white wire going to the uh, CAD cell relay. We have another white wire going here, and you can see that is the wire coming from the motor. It's usually in this little uh, cord cable. Okay, uh, so we have the white wire coming from the power source, goes to another wire nut in here, uh, and one goes to the motor, one goes to the CAD cell relay, and the only one that's the odd man out here is the transformer, because both wires going to the transformer are black. Doesn't make any difference which one you use. Just hook up one of the black wires from the transformer to the uh, to that white uh, wire wire nut. Okay, the black lead. Now it comes in like this, and the only place the black lead goes is the CAD cell relay. That's the only place. So we have neutral that's coming to the CAD cell. Now we have our orange wire. And the orange wire goes in here and feeds to the transformer. See, it's the other side of the transformer right there. And it also feeds to the black wire from the motor. That's right there. So that's it. There's really nothing else on this thing that you need to do. The way it's going to cycle on is when I start this thing, it's going to, I get a call for heat, it's going to feed power to the transformer and the motor through the relay. Then it will do a trial for ignition. If it senses flame, then it'll go ahead and uh, uh, keep it on. Otherwise, it'll shut it off. Now this one's got a little blinky light here that tells you when it's off. This one's a little newer control uh, than some of them. So I'm going to show you another control here that is a White Rogers. Now remember, there is a wiring diagram on these too. Okay, this is a White Rogers 668-430E8. And it's pretty much the same thing as the Honeywell. It does have a red light on it that shows when it's kicked off. It doesn't have the manual shutdown, but it's got the button there. The biggest difference, well, let's take a look at the backside. Uh, okay, you've got the same black and white and orange wires you had on the uh, Honeywell. And you have a wiring diagram too. Okay, the only other difference with this control is if you notice I have F1 and F2 now that's for the these yellow wires right here that's going to the flame sense 
Okay, I have a W, a B, and an R. Let me get a little closer on that so you can see that. Okay, there's your W, B, and R. That's for a three-wire thermostat. Let's not get into three-wire thermostats today. <laughs> Let's just deal with a two-wire. If it's a two-wire thermostat, then you're going to put either red or white here or red or white there. It doesn't make any difference which one goes there. So if you have two wires coming from your thermostat, just put one on W and one on B. Ignore R. Uh, if you have more wires coming from the thermostat, that means you have air conditioning and you've probably got a whole different control system. That's the White Rogers. This is the Honeywell. They are not uh, the newest controls. The newer controls have safeties in them to keep you from resetting constantly. And they have shorter ignition proving times. The only other wiring you have to do is to put in uh, the Honeywell, it's the FF, and that's these yellow wires that are coming from the CAD cell itself. And here again on the uh, White Rogers, it's F1 and F2, and it doesn't make any difference which wire goes where. Okay, I hope this helps. If you're replacing one of these silly things, uh, it is pretty simple, but you know, I've seen simple things that very commonly go awry. That's it on the CAD cell installation.